Call the order. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented for the tax rate hearing? Lisa. Here. Second. We got Beth and Eric. Lisa Lay. Six thirty four. Who gave the motion? Uh, Beth and Eric are second. Put your roll call. No. Show of hands. Well, Mrs. Ginch, you got the floor. Absolutely, thank you. Can I just stand here? Is that okay? Yep. Um, the tax rate hearing information is on the board over here. Um, every year we are required to set our tax levy, and that is how we um, get revenue for the school. So what happens is we get numbers from the county <coughs> regarding our assessed valuation <coughs> for the board of equalization meets. Um, we also get numbers from the state officer. We fill out the forms. They give us our starting number. We put in our information from the county regarding assessed valuation and regarding our debt, which we get our debt levy from. And it all plays out and tells us exactly what our availability to levy is. This year, our availability is 3.7532 for operating purposes. Um, that's down about a nickel from last year because we can only capture so much increase in assessed valuation. Um, we did have an increase in assessed valuation, but we had a decrease in the personal property side of it. So. Um, our um, bonding company helps us with our debt piece of our levy to make sure that we're levying enough to cover the payments that we need to make, and we can also keep a reserve in there for our payments for next year. So when we run those calculations, our debt service levy will stay exactly the same as it was last year and has been for several years at 0.9493. That will allow us to make all of our debt payments. Um, and then, as I said, the operating levy at 3.7532. And that number is expressed in like $100 of assessed valuation. Hey, that's so. different than what we have, isn't it? Yes, it did change a little bit. So when, like the, the next day. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, and it was just that operating levy that changed slightly. So, the revenue that's projected with this levy is very close to what I projected in my budget, um, within a couple hundred thousand. So it just depends how they come, how they come in, because I use a 92% collection rate. Okay, I have, uh, I'm a layman here. Okay, I don't have financial <coughs> knowledge, and Fine. since I don't have this up here, last year's tax rate was four seven five four two. This is what we're going. So we're actually going down. Yes, and that is because of because that operating levy, the tax rate ceiling. See that number right there, under four. Under four. IV. Yeah. Yeah. That three point seven five three two. That number is derived from the forms that we get from the state auditor's office. So we have to do that. We absolutely okay. Yeah. Because we had, I'm we had that a pretty significant increase different. in assessed valuation, close to two percent, but we can only capture a so little bit of that. Because I was looking at that and thinking, you know, we have so many needs. Why are we rolling back? Right. But our revenue is projected to still be higher, yeah. Yeah. which is why our levy has to go down. Thank you. She's going to check if I'm ready. Has anybody Absolutely. signed up for this? About the tax rate? Right? I know. Sure. So I would just speak. I spoke last year that my concern, the same with the debt service and capital, is that um, literally the next prior month, we had a, a huge punch list from our engineer about a lot of our capital projects. I served on the CSIP committee, and we identified additionally lots of projects and things that need to be addressed. My concern is as a district, a year has passed, and we've had little to no discussion, at least publicly in the public meetings, about what our role is as a community and with our tax levy to address these capital projects. And then additionally, my concern is that we continue to fall behind as a district in where we are paying our staff. And I moved to this district because I want quality educators for my students, administrators, teachers, uh, operating staff, custodial staff, etc. And we need to be positioning ourselves. And I'm concerned that in a year's time, 
there's been no real discussion occurring at these meetings about how we're going to do that. Um, I'm not sure if our bonding capacity is still with LJ Hart or not, or if that was transferred. I know there was meetings that went back and forth. But I would be interested to know what some of the feedback was on the debt service, if we could levy some of that to pay down some of our other existing debts, such as the property on Highway A and things, to really save money in other places to maximize what we can get back to our students. Um, and would be interested to see that the information put together for Senate Bill 380 to determine that be made public information. Um, and that's all I'd like to address. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? All is going to wait. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, I'd like to address a couple of the questions you had. First, the bonding uh, capacity of the district does not go with LJ or any other company that stays with the district. Uh, we're eligible in 2016 for 8.5 million at no tax levy increase, which would allow us to take care of a lot of those needs that you're talking about. The district, uh, the board has had minimal discussion in that area. Uh, LJ, uh, Mr. Hart said that it was in 2015. Our new financial advisors say that we have until 2016 uh, to run that at no tax increase to the public. There's been, like I said, minimal discussion. Uh, the facilities committee has met several times and discussed uh, some of our uh, long-term strategic plans for the district. Uh, everything from technology to new roofs to uh, a lot of different things. Uh, and similar to what the architect had mentioned. So a little bit about that. Just wanted to kind of touch base and give you some info on that. And we did pay down a huge chunk of our debt with that last crossover refinancing. That is correct. We did, it fell off the books. So more and and if you collect too much money in the, in the debt service, if the bank gets higher, then it basically is, it turns over and you have to take all that money and pay off your existing debt, which winds up happening is you're going to have to roll from incidental, your fund one, back into debt to pay because you're paying off too fast, if that makes sense. You pay off as it's due until you can run a no tax levy increase and pay off a majority of more debt while not extending more debt onto the public at that time in, in, in taxes. Uh, it does extend what you're paying in taxes. I want to be clear there. It's an extension of your tax, but it's not a tax increase. So taxes don't go tax. off. It stays right. the same. Like FESTUS just approved. That is and correct. And they advertise the same tax. With it's important to say that because when you tell people it's a no tax increase, technically it's not, but it because is an extension. Spend, and extend. people will feel misled if you don't That's say right. that, in that in that context. Did I leave That's anything right. out on that? Mm -hmm. We're allowed to carry one year payments and one year of reserves for the next that year. That is correct. payments in the fund. Ms. Petrie? <laughs> you said you had a couple earlier. You, you were talking. Oh, I think I already asked. We have time. Uh, do we have a limit? We need to no, no. keep it on. We have leave it open for the next few minutes and if no one else comes. Show up two minutes before typically I think it's 15 seven. minutes from the start Boy, till quarter till and then takes a break for restrooms before you start 645 last year we got up and roamed around yes we have 15 minutes okay, okay. <coughs> are we having fun okay. 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 Right. Oh, don't just keep it open. Yeah. 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 Just <laughs> I don't like it. 
Okay. See, I do like it. I'll go around. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You want to cut? Oh, I'm not sure I would understand. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. And I'll make email. I mean, we're talking serious. Or you won't be able to access my Wi Fi. Yes. Was that today? Forty eight hours. All right. Motion to uh, move to adjourn the tax rate hearing. Do I have a motion? So moved. Uh, you want roll call or hands? Hey, show of hands. All right. We'll readjourn. 6.45, we will readjourn uh, open session at 7 p.m.